All right, I'm just going to uh, just go quickly about uh, show you, showing you what I uh, snagged. Um, I will say that one thing about the, um, uh, the military hobby show was that, uh, boy, everybody was just nice and mellow. It was really, uh, yeah, it was just really nice. And the vendors, um, just ridiculously friendly. It just, um, yeah, just really nice time. So okay, let's go left or right, I guess. So this one I uh, purchased at the bitter end. It was only about $5, but it just had a lot. It just seemed to have a lot of interesting little, um, look, look at that. I was like, okay, that's, you're coming home. That's for bloody sure. This was the first thing I saw, and I was like, oh gosh, I really want to, want you to come with me. So I, I got five, I got all three for five dollars. Um, so they'll be going up. That's for sure. Nice, eh? So yeah, I'll be popping them somewhere, and then. Um, Actually, no, sorry, this is what I saw first, and it's just because I saw that. But uh, I think I paid a dollar for this. I don't even know if it's whatever. It's probably just um, not, I, I just, for interest sakes, I don't think it's going to do me any whatever. But I grabbed that. This one just seemed really interesting about um, how to write, I guess, uh, properly if you're going to do military whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go and look, read this up, and hopefully I'll be using this for my narrative. That'd be kind of neat. Um, like for officers, warrant officers, non-commissioner, all ranks. Nah, 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 nah. I just, this would be awesome. Yeah, I just think it'll be really neat to use. So I'm going to do that. This one is, uh, I think I paid a dollar to someone, someone's own, whatever. It came with the badges thing. Um, uh, this is just a, a free um, postcard they were giving out. Rob, oh yeah, we kind of rolled for, there was two different ones and we just kind of rolled for who got whatever as you can see here so we're gonna take a look it's just like i said it'll just be something to take a look at it at some later point to find out uh it was just for interest sake really yeah stuff i just you know take a look at at some point in time these i paid a dollar each i think did i something like that or three dollars each it doesn't really matter does it but uh it was just few magazines to take a look at leave them around see if anybody's interested which is what i like to do anyways if anybody does show up at the house i've got uh world war well as if i wouldn't but i've got world war one books all over the the house so and i kind of strategically place them so people can go oh i'm hoping that people will do that and and you know want to take a look and so on and so forth so that'd be neat to see now these things um the Bond Adventure or something. I don't know what they were, but uh, it was ironic because I was, she, I said, oh, so how much are they? And she goes, $4. And I thought she meant $4 each. I was going to grab one. And she's like, uh, no, it's $4 for this side. I'm like, yet again, like I said, I was just like, oh my gosh. This one I got uh, from my favorite vendor, Bob. And as you can see, it's just some more stuff. Uh, it'll be great to scan in and use for... Uh, World War One image of the day, which I haven't done yet today, so I'll have to do that later. Maybe I'll grab one of these. Hey, that makes sense. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab the, uh, maybe I'll go to the, uh, the Real Irish Spirit. Just do the fact, Ireland's been popping up in my head. Uh, or it, it's been a, a mini theme today. Uh, it's been around there. And this one I picked up, this looks really darn good. Um, I can't, uh, well, I'm going to have to wait because I've got to do this thing. Oh my gosh, second battle of Ypres. Cool. And it had some Ed, um, Alfred Munnings uh, uh, paintings in here too. So that was kind of neat. And like I said, I mentioned uh, um, uh, everybody seems to be on a Napoleonic thing, whatever. And then with, uh, and here on a side note about uh, Meandering Mike, I thought this is perfect. And it's easy for me to send it off to him and not um, have to deal with a shipping uh, issue. I am sending, about to send him off something anyways, is... Here's a piece of flint that would be used for a uh, flint lock. And this comes from uh, the same comp uh, the com uh, this company has been in existence continuously uh, and was producing flint for uh, the British forces uh, in Napoleonic times. And was uh, this flint uh, that was also sent over for uh, uh, the War of 1812. Uh, for the the troops here so this is an actual piece of flint that uh, is still being manufactured or still being produced by that company in 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 england uh that was um 
doing it back in Napoleonic times. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe um, I'm, I, I, I know people are more interested in games and so on and so forth. But I was like, you know what? I'll send this off uh, with my other thing that I'm going to be sending off to me, Andrew and Mike. Maybe he can use it for a uh, giveaway and up his subscriber count, as, as I was saying before. I want to help people out. It would be great. That's about it. I'm going to go off and uh, I'm flipping hungry as hell. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start posting all these crazy ass videos and put them, put them in a, um, in, um, a military hobby show playlist. Okay. Bye.